In May 2017, a train unlike any train seen before made its debut. This is Trans Suite Shigishima, an ultra luxury cruise train by JR East that took four years in the making. The most distinctive feature of Trois Suites Shikishima is its exterior design. The attractive champagne gold livery and the innovative car body are outstanding. Trains like this one are made possible through the culmination of innovative designs and technological know-how. In today's program, we see how new design elements are causing Japanese trains to evolve. Today, we are taking a test ride on Twin Suite Shikishima between Fukushima and Tokyo. Wow! Look, the train is coming into the station! Wow! It looks so elegant! Oh, look at it go! Wow! <gasps> this is amazing! Look at the design! Look at the windows! <gasps> this is Trois Suite Shikishima, and you can already tell by the lead car that this is a truly unique design. And look at the champagne golden livery. It reflects the sunlight. It looks so elegant. And then the window shape, triangular. I've never seen anything like that. You can really tell that Trans Suite Shikishima is breaking conventions of train design. Konnichiwa. Oh, wow. It is so spacious. The name Shikishima was inspired by the four seasons as seen across Japan's islands. The train's cars have been uniquely designed to represent elements from each of the seasons. We first head to the lead car, which features observation seats. <laughs> we have changed, now everything is now kept in red and there's music playing too. And now we're changing from red to white and it becomes incredibly bright right away because of the large windows. Ooh, there's some steps leading us up. <gasps> so we are in the lead car and you can see several sofas here and couches and right at the front you get a view of the driver's seat too. This observation car was designed with spring in mind. The vivid green carpet contrasting with the white walls is reminiscent of fresh grass. The most eye-catching feature is the windows. Soft light streams through large triangular windows in the walls and ceiling. Next, we head to the lounge car. The theme of the lounge is summer and you can see the walls are designed to resemble trees. So when the sunlight comes in through the window, it's like rays of sunshine filtering through tree branches. The lounge is an open space with large windows and a vaulted ceiling. The area at the bottom of the stairs is furnished with comfortable lounge chairs. The tables and chairs are made of wood from the Tohoku region, a region where Shikishima operates. The furnishings and wall features were all crafted by traditional artisans. The ceiling is so tall, it gives you so much breathing space. 
This is the dining car where meals are served and the theme is autumn. You can see those wonderful wooden panels here to express that. And there's some very soft light coming down from the modern chandelier. The train feels more spacious than regular tourist trains because of the layout of the two-seater tables and the way the space was designed. I can only imagine how wonderful it must be to have a meal here while enjoying the view. Next, let's check out the most luxurious of the 17 rooms. This is the Shikishima Suite, named after the train. This room is a masonite type. The bedroom is located on the lower floor. The upper floor features a Japanese-style living room, complete with tatami mats. It even has an authentic wooden bathtub. This is the Deluxe Suite. It's the largest and most spacious of the suites. Tour prices for Shikishima vary depending on the package, which range from one to three nights. However, for one night, prices start at 370,000 yen per person. For three nights, the price is more than 1 million yen. Yeah, you can't help but be absolutely blown away by Tron Suite Shikishima, mm -hmm. the interior design, the exterior design, it's so unique. And as part of the design, there was also light, there was also the sounds, the mm. music they were using, there were also some live music playing sometimes, and smell, it's something we couldn't put in the video. All of this together is supposed to be part of the design experience. Mm, yes, that's right. I know of a number of railway vehicle designers who are surprised at how much of the railway vehicles are actually handmade. Handmade? Yes. Compared with the road vehicles where uh, they manufacture in the number of thousands or even tens of thousands mm. at one time, uh, railway vehicles are something that uh, if 100 railway vehicles are built to a same design, then that means that the project is a fairly big one. Ah. Mm. Right. And uh, in the case of Transit Shikishima, there's only one train set. All right. We also spoke with the man who designed Tuan Suite Shikishima. Let's hear it from him. Tuan Suite Shikishima was designed by industrial designer Ken Okuyama. Mr. Okuyama is a world renowned designer known for his work with Ferrari although he has also designed many trains. His famous works include the series E6 and E7 Shinkansen, as well as Safiro Dorico and Tobu Railway's Revity Express trains. Of all these trains, Shikishima is particularly unique. シキシマに関してはやっぱりそのJRヒガシ日本としてその国鉄からJRになって30周年ってこともありましたし今までにないもの作んないととてもじゃないけどお客様に喜んでいただけないなっていうことで内装も窓の形も全部デザインをしていく
from commuter cars to Shinkansen. Design to Kiko to this ne, and Mitame, Mitame to Yuka, but make a high tech to Joho Dakega, a Hokas Aregatina and the Skeredomo. やはりですね、デザインとの融和といったところはですね、非常に苦心した覚えがあります。具体的に言うとですね、どこでも走れる車両になってますので、青函トンネル、放直流、非電化区間を対応しようとしたときにですね、さまざまな機器をつけなきゃいけないといったところ、デザインと交わりの点を見つけるところが非常に大変であったと記憶しております。Depending on the course, Shikishima runs on a variety of conventional railway tracks. On rural lines, especially, there are many curves and gaps between rail joints, which increase vibration. To provide a comfortable ride suitable for a luxurious train trip, the bogies on Shikishima were improved. Shikishima is equipped with suspension that reduces horizontal vibrations and dampers the prevent vertical vibration. This system is the first of its kind to be used by JR East. With this addition, the train ride has become much more comfortable. デザイナーの考え方をですね、我々も理解しようとしたというところにあの以上のものを見つけたんじゃないかなというふうに考えてます。デザインがなければですね、設計はどういったものを作っていけばいいのということがわからないんですね。なので行き着く先のですね、目標地点としてデザインがあるという点は非常にいいんじゃないかなというふうに考えています。The evolution of manufacturing technology has also become an important factor in train design. This is the Series E7, designed by Ken Okuyama. It currently operates on the Hokuriku and Joetsu Shinkansen lines. It has the largest windows of any high speed train. The difference can clearly be seen when compared to other Shinkansen. Madogaras, you know, Nakakara Miru Huke, Sorekara Sotokara Mita in Show no Oki Aquario Hatashimas and De, Katsia de Ginakata, Aosegaras in Stemona in Stemo, Oki San Hijoni Oki could screen on Narimasta. Glass manufacturer AGC is striving to improve its technology to meet design demands and ensure safety. The surface of the glass is not a single piece of glass. It is not a single piece of glass. It is 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 a single piece of glass. 間に、えー、対貫通性に優れたフィルムを入れて、えー、作るというところがあの独自のノウハウがいるというふうに思っておりますだんだんそういったあのデザインあるいはあの、えー、加工に関する要求度っていうのは上がってると思うんですけどもそういったあ要望を踏まえながらあ徐々に技術力を上げて対応するということが、まあ、重要かなというふうに思っています。Unique and well designed trains like Shikishima, which use large or curved panes of glass, are only possible because of recent improvements in window glass manufacturing technology. Yeah. Glass on Toa Suite Shikishima is used in different ways and in different shapes. So it's there to reflect, it's there to let light in, it's there to open up the space 
And for example, on mm. the outside, the square windows, ah, yes. they look kind of small when you see them from the outside. When they come in, they're a lot bigger than you thought they are. They light in a lot of light. Mm. And once you go into the rooms, they're so big. The windows are so big. You forget that there are windows. You feel like you're one with the outside. Oh, I see. Well, you know, not just the glass manufacturers, but uh, there are many more suppliers that supply different parts. So the important role of the vehicle designer is to orchestrate all those different manufacturers. That can't be easy. No, not at all. And among those suppliers are the craftsmen from many different parts of Japan, so that you can find many traditional Japanese craftsmanship when you are on transit Shikishima, didn't you? Yes, there were like baskets and like art on the walls and such. So wherever you're looking, you could discover some traditional Japanese craftsmanship on board. Yes. Now, Transweek Shikishima is a totally new design, but the Shinkansen, which we all know and love, also transforms through design. In January 2022, new Shinkansen cars left the rolling stock manufacturer in Yamaguchi Prefecture and were loaded onto a ship before being transported to Nagasaki Prefecture in the Kyushu region. The new Shinkansen is scheduled to operate on the Nishi Kyushu Shinkansen line, opening in September 2022. The Nishi Kyushu Shinkansen line will run between Takayo Onsen Station in Saga Prefecture and Nagasaki Station in Nagasaki Prefecture. In the future, the line will connect to Hakata Station in Fukuoka Prefecture. Locals held a commemorative ceremony at the port in Nagasaki Prefecture to welcome the new vehicles. The name of the new Shinkansen is Kamome, which means seagull. Kamome is not actually a new train. Its base is the N700S Shinkansen, which made its debut in 2020 on the Tokaido and Sanyo Shinkansen lines. The N700S was developed by JR Central. It's the highest performing Shinkansen in operation in terms of safety, comfort and environmental impact. Currently operating on the Tokaido and Sanyo Shinkansen lines, the N700S was built with business passengers in mind. JR Kyushu decided to use the N700S as a base for their more luxurious Kamome Shinkansen. It was designed by Mitoka Eiji, one of Japan's leading train designers. Mr. Mitoka has designed many trains for JR Kyushu. One of his most famous works is the cruise train Seven Stars in Kyushu, a pioneer in luxury sleeper trains. Another is 36 Plus 3, which began operation in 2020. This tourist train's design incorporates Japanese and Western styles to create a relaxing journey. It took JR Kyushu almost a year to build the Kamome from the N700S base. あの、で、それ以外はあの、どれどこもあんまり触れないっていうかですね。ま、厳しい厳しいその、あの、ガイドラインがある中で、それでもジャルキュシュの皆さんはあの、見たことないもの作れとか、むちゃくちゃ言うわけです
そのビジネスカーとして A 地点から B 地点に走るってそれが目的でじゃなくてその乗ってる間その移動する中でもちょっとでも心地いい楽しい気持ちがいいそういうものをどうやったら提供できるかというためにはやはり視覚的にもその色形が必要なんですね。Mr. Mitoka first prepared four concept images depicting the Shinkansen in different colors black, red, white, and red and white. After reviewing the concept images, J.R. Kyushu selected the red and white livery. The lead car was designed to look like a face, something locals and passengers can know and recognize easily. Eye shadows were added to the headlights, and the front emblem resembles a nose. こういう花黒い花をつけただけで、目鼻をつけただけで、急にこう生き物のようにこの立体的にあの何かこう。存在感が出てくる存在理由が生まれてくるっていうのが感じまして、まあ、デザインって結局そういうことなんですねって何もその根本的なことを触らなくてもちょっと色を変えるとかちょっと形を変えるとかちょっと素材を変えるとかちょっと考え方を変えてみると全然違う商品が生まれてくるで全,然全然違う楽しさが生まれてくる美しさが生まれてくる。While JR Central's N700S offers first class cars, the cars in JR Kyushu's Kamome are all regular cars. However, they are divided into cars with reserved and non reserved seats. In addition, the seating arrangement on board the Kamome is different. The seats in the reserved seat cars are arranged in rows of four instead of five. Giving passengers more space to relax. This was done in an effort to attract tourists to the Nishi Kyushu Shinkansen. As an added bonus, the restroom walls and the connecting decks are decorated with illustrations drawn by Mr. Mitoka. Unlike any other Shinkansen, These displays create a more sightseeing train like atmosphere. This is the Hitachi factory in Yamaguchi Prefecture, where numerous Shinkansen, including the Kamome, have been built. The engineers here were responsible for making Mr. Mitoka's design a reality. で私が描いた稚拙な図面をスケッチをそれを制作図面に変える人たちがいっぱいいたんですねそれはジャック・キューシュの中にもいてましたし日立の中にもいましたしでその人たちがその専門知識で多分稚拙な私のアイディアを手直しして完成してくれてるってでものづくりにおいても私が描いたものがその不都合であれば知らないうちに手直しをしてくれてる。だから私の図面とか私のアイデアはまあ 60% まではできてますけどあとの40はその職人の力それから職人そのそういうメーカーのまあ設計者の力が大きいっていうふうに今も思いますね。Isn't it interesting how they took the N700S and turn it from a business travel train?、Mm-hmm. To a tourist train amidst a lot of restrictions. <laughs> so they took something that they had and they made something new with it. Yes, yes. You know,、uh, a nice looking train is always good, isn't it?、Mm. But、um, in doing design,、um, you have to do that under or within the constraint. What constraints do you think are absolutely necessary? Well,、uh, for example, restrictions or the requirements about speed. And requirements about capacity、mm. and even the costs. So, all these things are important, and designers should do things within those constraints. But from the passenger's point of view,、um, it's always good uh, if uh, you feel comfortable within the train, isn't it? And、um, it will be even better if you feel well 
fascinated, so to speak, mm. uh, when you are on a train. Yes, you're right. Railway Topics on March 11, Oda Q Electric Railway's limited express train known as the White Romans Car that connected Tokyo and Hakone, a tourist destination in Kanagawa Prefecture, ended regular service. Introduced in 2005, the Romans Car VSE 50,000 series with its pure white car body, large windows and observation seats was a popular mode of transportation among tourists for 17 years. However, because of the difficulty maintaining and fixing the complicated bogey structure, Odakyu Electric Railway decided to end regular operation of the White Romans car. Many people gathered at Shinjuku Station to catch a glimpse of the last train. At 9 p.m., the last train departed the station fully booked. People on the platform took pictures and waved goodbye. On April 12, a press event was held by Kintetsu Railway, an operator with a vast railway network in the Kansai region, to introduce their new sightseeing train, Aoni Yoshi. Aoni Yoshi is an old word that was used to refer to the Nara area. The train was designed to attract tourists visiting Kyoto and Osaka to Nara. Base color of the car body is purple. The walls and ceiling inside the car are decorated to resemble Shoso In, a World Culture Heritage Site. Passengers can enjoy views of the historical landscape from on board. The sightseeing train Aoni Yoshi will begin service on April 29th.